YouTube and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Truly Yours, Lori. So I wanted to do an update on um, earlier. I had posted a video um, that I told everybody that you got to check out my next video, which is going to be my process of my treatment called the Hamera. Um, for my previous video that I post called Living With um, HS. So um, today is Wednesday. Um, Wednesday the 19th, 20th, and the 19th, I had to watch, look at my watch, but however, and, um, I have to take my, uh, my treatment today, because I took it last Wednesday, so I have to take it, um, this Wednesday. So, this is, this is how it looks. I'm just blocking where I got my medication from, but this is it right here. It's a syringe, uh, 40 milligrams of Hamera. And um, when you open it, this is how it looks. When you open it, this is how it looks. It normally has two of them in here, but like I said in my previous video, I had already took a shot. So this would be my second shot that's in there. And it comes with an alcohol pad my syringe needle and you have your instructions in here your guide in here if you need help with uh, taking a shot now <clears throat> when i first come home well when i came home earlier i took the medication out of the refrigerator because it has to stay in the refrigerator um <clears throat> the whole entire time that you're not you know using anything when you first buy they normally give you like a freezer pack um, to put it, um, <clears throat> to put the box closer to the freezer pack to try to keep it, um, cold, um, until you get home. So when you get home, you just put it in the refrigerator and that's where you leave it at. So when I came home today, I took it out of the refrigerator. Um, I got home probably about four and so I've been out the refrigerator since then, which is fine. Um, so I'm going to, you know, show you my process. So let's get into this video. All right, so this is how we look, and this is the back of it, okay? First, I'm going to clean my hands. I have the dowel soap. It smells so good. But you always want to clean your hands first before touching anything. I mean, so many germs out here, you know, you always want to clean your hands. So, I clean my hands. Now, I was telling y'all that, that the areas can be the stomach or the thighs. Um, I thought it was the arms. I've never done the arms, but I could sworn the doctor, the pharmacist told me that you can do it in the arm. But just showing y'all the box that I showed y'all, it's not. It's only the stomach area or the thighs. So, today, I'm gonna, I always do mine in my stomach. Um, of course, because I have a lot of fat there. But... It's it's easier for me to to do it there, and it doesn't um, give me pain. I used to do it in my thighs, like I told y'all when I had that um, syringe, the um, EpiPen one, and when I would do the EpiPen one, um, I would inject it in my thighs, and it was burning. And um, my manager was she suggested how about I try this my um, stomach area, you know? She heard that would be less less painful or whatever. So. I go my alcohol pad. I opened it. Like you said, like I said, I'm sorry. Make sure you wash your hands. I'm going to do my stomach area. So you, I can pick any way basically on my stomach. And I'll just do here so y'all can see. I have um shrimp pots. Yes, I do. Um but again, this is how it look. You can see the medicine. With this type of medication, they told me that I didn't have to this type of syringe, I didn't have to pull back on a syringe, which was good for me because again, I don't like needles and I just like to hurry up and get it over with. So this is me taking it off. The top off. 
Um, I tilt it. I grab the thigh. I mean, the thigh, the stomach, real tight. I inject. Squeeze, push, minus it in. Pull out. Take this, cover it back up like that. That's it. Like, I mean, it's not dripping back out, nothing. It doesn't hurt, nothing. Like, that's it. And then I have a Sharpie here. When you first get it, um, they ask you, do you need a Sharpie box? So I do have a Sharpie box that I discard my needles and stuff in, of course, because I have kids and everything, and I don't want to leave nothing out. For them to be curious or anything. So I'll show y'all my shirt, you guys. <clears throat> it's a little dusty right now because it sits in a corner, but this is my Sharpie box that <clears throat> I would discard my needle in, basically. Push it in, is in there. Close it up, and I put it back in my corner of my arm. So that's it, and that's the process of the treatment that I take called Hamera. Um, again, I do this once a week. So this is um, like I said, Wednesday, uh, February the nineteenth. I will take it next Wednesday again. I might do another video just to show you, just to do, you know, keep doing my weekly updates with y'all. Since, since, since I made a video earlier and said that this is my journey, this is what I've been doing for my life. So, I might as well just include y'all every week on my video of my process. Like, I might as well just show y'all my injections and everything so y'all can do everything with me. My dad is barking. But, um, thanks for watching my video. Any questions, any comments, suggestions, please comment below. Let me know. You take a mirror. How does it feel um, when you inject yourself with a mirror? Do you take injections? Do you take pills? You know, um, anything about if you have HS. Any questions, please let me know. Feel free to talk to me. I'll talk back. Bye. Oh, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe to my channel. Thumbs up. Peace.